Hi, I'm Steve Oddy, co-founder here at ScoreApp. I'm going to give you a demo of the ScoreApp platform. So the first screen you'll see is this create a new scorecard screen. What do we mean by scorecard? It's a term we use to group up your landing pages, which drive conversions through to your quiz or your assessment, and then your result pages or PDFs or emails that deliver your dynamic results to the people who have gone through your quiz. Now, all of that's grouped together and hosted on a domain and can drive traffic to that and you can create multiple scorecards within your account. You might call it a funnel or a lead magnet, but we call it a scorecard. So for the purposes of the demo, I'm actually gonna pick a template and let's assume I'm a business coach and I like the look of this particular scorecard, which is, are you ready to launch your own business? Got 12 questions in it, four categories, and it looks good. So I'm gonna hit use this template Essentially, that creates the scorecard in my account and takes me straight to the homepage of that scorecard. You've got the setup guide, which is just helpful steps to walk you through what you need to do to get the scorecard launched. And then there's all the different links and bits and pieces to help you get uh, support if you need it. So we can actually just go straight to the front end of that scorecard. And you can see it's beautifully designed landing page and it's essentially ready to go. I can start filling this in. And you can see the questions. So I'll have to say yes, no, yes, no, maybe. And I get to this results page. So content's written. You can see how I scored across the different areas. And there's a bit of a CTA there. So let's go back into the dashboard. And let's walk through the steps on the setup, guys. So the first thing is to update the landing page. You can find out a bit more information about that. Watch the videos if you want. I'm going to go across the landing pages, and this is the one that come as part of the scorecard template. I can actually create a completely new landing page if I want. I can start from scratch, or I can pick from some of the other templates for landing pages that are there. Let's go in and edit the existing landing page that's there. So this is the page builder. You can click around and edit any of the content that you see, change any of the images, update the styling. Go to page settings, for example, and pick a different font for headers. And maybe I want to make them just a bit smaller. So it's more on brand. Um, I can then click through the sections hit on the left or scroll through the page. Let's say, for example, I want to replace this testimonial section. So I'm going to delete that section out um, and I'm going to go to click to add a new section. So in here, you'll see that we've got all of these different templates for banners on page forms, call to actions. There are testimonial options. So let's just select this individual testimonial here. And actually I want it right up the top under the banner so people can get my testimonial straight away. But I can just copy and paste uh, some new text in or type directly into here. So I've got a new testimonial. I can click and edit the image here to a different one that I just uploaded. So simple as that. We even format all of the mobile settings for you. So there's very little to do in terms of having to update mobile and desktop designs. Page just looks good, no matter what the size. You can hit save and move on to the next step. The next area we're gonna look at is the question builder. Looks and feels very much like the page builder, except down the left-hand side now, we've got the individual questions that are part of our quiz or assessment. These are grouped up by the category that they sit in. You can just view it as a long list here or view it grouped into the category, depending on how you're setting up your scorecard. So in order to show you through the page builder, I'm actually going to delete out one of the categories and add in a new category. So I want to remove the mindset category and I'm going to delete those questions. And I'm just going to start adding some new questions. So I'll just go yes, no, maybe for now. And I want to score somebody against their sales ability. I think that's an important aspect of starting a new business. So let's say for example, do you have any prior experience in selling, selling a product or service? And I could leave that as a yes, no, or I might actually go multiple choice buttons and give a couple of options. So I might say yes, every day. I've some sales. None. Okay, so I've set up my three options. 
now I want to deal with the scoring. I want this question to score against the sales category. And obviously if yes, every day, then that's a great score. So I haven't actually got my sales category yet, but it's very easy just to add here. And I'm just going to click create on that. And I'm going to put yes, every day to be 10 points in sales. I've done some can be four points and none will basically be no scoring. So you can see now that it's actually grouped that up into the sales category and I've got that one question against that category. So let's just add another question as well, just so that we've got a bit of variety in there. Let's just start with yes, no, maybe again. I'm just going to copy and paste another question in here. How comfortable are you with developing a sales strategy for your business? Now I can just keep it as this yes, no, and just go comfortable. Not comfortable. And again, I'm going to pick that uh, sales category that I created on the previous question. Uh, comfortable would be, let's go five points into the sales category and not comfortable as no scoring. So that's it. I've essentially added a new category. It's going to break down that score and I've added a couple of questions to that category. So you'll see in the next section, how that affects the results and the results page. So let's have a look at the results page. I can just skip straight to that over here and I can go into the results page. That's part of this template. Again, just like the page builder, I can fully customize this page. I can add sections, CTAs, colors, fonts. The key difference here is that we now have the context of the person who's just come through your quiz or assessment. So we know who they are. We know how they've answered the questions. We know how they've scored. So the content can adapt based on all of that information that we've got. Let's dive into how you do that. On any of the sections, you'll see there is this dynamic content toggle. That's already switched on for this section. And you can see that we've got these three dynamic blocks of content. You've got not ready content, quite ready content, ready to launch content. These are fully customizable. So you can rename them. You can add more, you can remove them and you can change how they distribute across the scores. So you can see if I click on the not ready, it's like now might not be the right time to go all in on your business. John, you can see this is dynamically brought in. Um, if I click on the section, you can see that it's actually a merge tag here. And then if I go to quite ready, it looks like you're just about ready to launch. Ready, looks like you're primed and set to go. That's one way that we can customize the content on the results page based on how they scored. Some other cool merge tags we've got here, we can add in their scores. We can add in things like change details. That pops open this change details form. So sometimes it might be that someone's given you a spammy email address up front, and then actually they can see the value in the results at the end, and you might be offering them some sort of follow-up that they decided they do want. So um, that's a nifty feature. The other thing you'll notice is that we've already got my new sales category in here. So the sales category that I added um, just earlier, that's now showing in here and the category I've deleted has gone. So the results page is automatically updated based on that. And you can see here, these three are already populated because they came in as part of the template and this sales category is not populated because we just added it. As I mentioned before, we can actually enable that dynamic content here, click enable. And now my three tiers of content are here. It's, I might just, for example, copy some content in here. So based on your score, it appears that your sales skills and experience may need further development for you bark on your entrepreneurial journey. And I can go to quite ready. And I might say something like your quiz results indicate that you have some sales skills and experience, but there are areas where you can improve and they're ready to launch. Congratulations. I just want to kind of get that looking the same as on the other section. I'm going to make that a heading tag. So looks pretty good. There's another way that we can customize results sections based on how people scored, and that's using the audience's functionality. So you see, I've got this uh, little eye icon here. This is like toggling on uh, if you're showing the section or not, uh, but on a results section, you can actually base that on an audience. So. We might say, show this section to the following audience only. Now I haven't actually created any audiences yet. So let's just go in and create one. Let's say I'm going to create an audience called perfect client. I'm going to create this audience based on some of the answers. So have you owned or run a business before? Answer is yes. And are you going to raise money to get started? Answer is yes. Save that. That's my new perfect client audience. 
And now this particular section, which is kind of the CTA asking people to book in for a call with me is only going to get displayed to my perfect client. Just show you the uh, various sections that we've got specifically for results. So we've got all of the previous landing page sections to build the page just in the same way. Um, and they can all be made dynamic as well. We've also got these specific sections to, to results. So there's various different ways to display charts, various different ways to display categories. And you can also display individual categories such as the winning category or the losing category. Just show you some of the other settings that we've got available on these results pages. For example, this section here where we're showing scores, we might actually order them highest to lowest and one per row. And maybe I only want to show the top two. That's just an example of what we can do there. And of course, that's going to be dynamic. So as soon as somebody answers in a particular way, they're going to see a different page to people who answer in another way. So that's result pages, and you can basically do exactly the same for PDF reports. So I won't go into a huge amount of detail with that, but you can create a PDF report in the same way. Um, and you just add pages. We have lots of templates for pages. And what you can do is you can save and publish that and attach it to either the result page or the result email so that somebody comes through, they get their nice result page, which might be a summary of their results. And then you email them the link to their full report, which can go into more detail. And it's a reason to go into the email, make sure they put the correct email address in. So once you're happy with your scorecard, you're going to want to hit publish. And now that it's published, it's ready to share. You can do that simply by driving traffic to your score app URL. You can set up a custom domain. You can embed your scorecard. So we have these embed options for full page in line chat style. You've got QR code as an option. If you want to share it in a presentation or on stage, we even have our AI tool start writing you social posts so they can be copy and pasted over onto your social channels. And we've got this great guide here, which is 29 ways to launch your quiz lead magnet. So there's some great options and great advice in there for getting your scorecard seen. There's lots of other ways to configure your scorecard and lots of other settings. I haven't got time to go into those in this demo. I'll just quickly run over some of the settings that you might come across. So you've got your general settings to change URLs, branding settings, share appearance, how that kind of card looks when you share it on social platforms, lead form, whether it's before or after questions, notifications, that's whether you get those notifications uh, on email when someone's signed up. You've got the result email, that's the email that gets delivered to the person who's taken your quiz. You've got the abandoned email, so that goes out. If someone starts but doesn't finish, they can get a link where they can click and they can continue exactly where they left off. And there's a whole bunch of tracking settings if you're driving Facebook traffic or want to add your Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, et cetera. Now, once you've launched your scorecard, you've actually started to get some leads in, your dashboard is going to start to look like this. And if we go into the lead section, these are all just examples. You can see that your leads start to build up in here. You can see when it was that they took your quiz, how long it took them, their overall score. If they didn't finish, you can see how far through the quiz they got. If we click to go into somebody, you can see how they scored against the different sections. You can see all of their individual answers. If they fit into one of your audiences, that's shown here. Now, something that's really cool is we have this AI marketing assistant. This will actually help you write a sales email to that individual person or even a call script. So a quick look at sales email copy. So this is actually taking the specific answers and scores from this individual person and using that to write a really tailored email specifically to that person. And once you've collected more leads, your insights dashboard will start to populate. You can see conversion rates. You can see distribution of answers. You can see how your questions perform. So it might be that actually some of your questions are causing people to abandon and you can address that here. You can see how people are scoring overall and you can get your data broken down by landing page if you're split testing different landing pages. So there you have it. We've covered a lot, but there's also a lot more to the platform. If there's something specific that you're looking for that you haven't seen, feel free to reach out to our support team or you can create a completely free account, dive in and have a look around for yourself. Good luck.